Uh, so the question is, how do you characterize uh, Gaussian process? Uh, so the best way is, once again, Gaussian also has a, a, a bunch of realizations. So if you take n time instance, you get random variables x1 uh, through xn. So you get so if this joint uh, if the joint density function of these n random variables are jointly Gaussian, then for any number of any arbitrary ti's and any number of n, then we call the process to be Gaussian a Gaussian process. So the whole the real question is what do I mean by n random variables being jointly Gaussian? So let me quickly derive that from what we know, which is one random variable. So we, if you recall, we call x to be Gaussian with uh, some mean and variance if the density function has this form. So I have n random variables, they are independent, identically distributed random variables. So I'm going to define an x vector which is x1, x2, x upper, xn. And uh, so each of them will be like this. So their joint density function will be as you know. So how will you find the joint density function of uh, this vector? Anyone? They are, they are independent and identically distributed. So their joint density function will be? What? Product, right? So this is going to be integral uh, product of fxi, xi i equal to 1. This is true for any random variable. But in this case, of course, this will be 2 pi to the power n by 2 e raised to minus xi squared over 2, right? By, because each of them is of this form. I'll write one more step here. So this is product 1 over square root of 2 pi e raised to minus xi squared over 2. So if you do this product over 1 through n, this will become a summation. So this is 1 over 2 pi n by 2 e raised to minus sigma xi squared over 2 i equal to 1. Now as you know I can use using this if I want to express that using this vector. Uh, so you probably know this right x transpose x. Not, there is nothing complex here so x transpose means uh, so you see this. So this uh, the x transpose x is uh, the dot product right sigma xi squared. So if you want, I can write this joint density function as 1 over 2 pi n by 2 e raised to minus x transpose x by 2. At this time, this is just transpose. If it is complex, it's a little different, but let's just stick with this. Now what I want to do is, see in general these, uh, these random variables could be dependent. So I want to bring in dependence using like this. So A is a matrix, so this is a linear, so Y1, Y2, Yn here, Y1, Y2, Yn, but we want to find the density function of that vector, we know the density function of this because we just found it out. So we can use the, the Jacobian technique we did, it's a simple problem, the linear algebra, right? So uh, you can see the Jacobian matrix dy by dx is just a y is right so this would be dy by d, uh, dy dy1 by dx1 dy1 by dx2 etc this is a matrix jacobian 
So that will be A11. So you can go home and do it. See for example, right? The first entry here will be dy1 by dx1, etc. That's going to be a11. dy1 by dx2, that will be a12. So a11, a12, etc. So you will get a determinant of that will be just that matrix. And uh, for, for a given y, there is one solution x is a inverse uh, y. That's the solution. So remember, going back to the one random variable case. So the density function of y is <coughs> 1 over the Jacobian, the density function of x you saw, you put in x, uh, x1, this is x1. So I will put it here, so this is going to be 1 over Jacobian is 1 over determinant of a, then you have uh, multiplied by 1 over 2 pi to the power n by 2 e raised to minus x is a inverse y here we need x transpose x so x transpose is going to be y transpose then a inverse transpose then a inverse then y then over 2 so let me pick this up here f y y would be 1 over 2 pi to the power n by 2 determinant of a b raised to minus y transpose look at here a uh, remember what is a b inverse anybody a multiplied by b the whole thing inverse is okay so this is b inverse this is a inverse so i can write this whole thing as a a transpose inverse Right? So this will be A, A transpose inverse Y. Finally, if I want to convert A in terms of the autocorrelation function, you can do it because look at the expected value of Y, Y star, Y, Y transpose. That's the autocorrelation function of the Y vector. So that's going to be A multiplied by So this is R Y Y, right? R Y Y is expected value of Y Y star, but Y is going to be A Y A X. Y star is X star A star. Expected value is only on X. A is like a constant, so I pull out A. So this is expected value of X X star. Yes. Anybody knows what is this is of course Rxx. What is the value of Rxx? Look at Rxx definition. The x1, x2, xn are xn are <coughs> unit variance, zero mean and independent. So what will be Rxx? What will be expected value of xi xj if i is not equal to j? Zero. So what will be the structure of Rxx? Or what will be the diagonal entries? R. No, Rx. R, yeah, 1, 1, 1, 1. So, of diagonal entries? 0. So, what do you call such a matrix? So, that will be an identity matrix. Rx is identity. So, this will be AA transpose. So, look here. I have AA transpose here. So, I can put that by R, Y, Y. And uh, from here, determinant of R, Y, Y would be what? Determinant of A, A transpose. Anybody knows determinant properties? What is the determinant of, uh, how do you de write determinant of A, B? Determinant of A, B would be? Determinant of A multiplied by determinant of B, provided they are square, so that will be the same as this. What is the determinant of, if you flip a matrix, the determinant is not going to change. The determinant of A transpose is the same as A. So, it will be determinant of A squared. So, we need a determinant of A here. So, I can write determinant of A to be uh, the determinant of R, Y, Y to the power half. So, if I put it together from here, I get the density function of a general Gaussian random variable 
come out to be of course if y has some mean it will appear here that's all but to me This is the form of a Gaussian random in uh, so multinomial Gaussian. I mean, I dropped R Y Y. You can put R Y Y here if you want. So what is R here? R is expected value of the vector Y Y transpose. So that will be a matrix, and the entry R I J would mean expected value of Y I. Y J so this is the structure of a Gaussian. Uh, uh, yeah. So let's go back to here. So assume these are all uh, y. So y one, y two, etc. So I just so if you have y one, y two, y n corresponding to time instance t one through t n. Then their joint density function is going to look like this is not R, nobody is paying attention. This should be square root of R. This is R inverse. So this is square root of R. Remember, determinant of R is a number, positive number, because R is a non negative covariance method. So this is expected value of y transpose The density function of the shifted random variables y1 prime 2 etc yn prime for that time instance t1 plus c etc tn plus c this will be a similar expression it will be 1 over 2 pi to the power n by 2 a determinant of a different r, r will be a y prime y prime transpose so, so here let me write it then I'll explain y transpose I'm going to write it here it as r tilde inverse y so here the r tilde ij the ij entry is going to be expected value of xt i plus c xtj plus c that will be the entry of this value so this will be the case in general. Now I am going to bring in white sun state. All I am going to assume is this process is white sun station. Suppose this x of t. This is a Gaussian process because this, this density function is Gaussian. So I am going to assume it is white sun station. What is the definition of white sun station? Anyone? What happens to the autocorrelation function? T i minus T j. So this will become, this entry will become here. Look at here. This entry will become now a function of T i minus T j. So this R is such that this entries are T i minus T j. Look at here. This entries are here. This, here are the R i j. Here also the corresponding i j entry is R T i plus C minus tj plus c so that also becomes tj ta minus tj you can say this r this r tilde is now the exact this was also r tilde this r tilde is exactly the same as that these two r's are the same if it is y two station consequently the density functions will be the same okay if there is mean what happens is this gets subtracted by the mean mean vector but if it is white sun station with the mean is a constant so there is no time there at all so what is the moral of the story if the process is white gaussian and white sun station then this density functions are equal 
So look here. This is for any n. You can make it in any number. So if there are 1, 2, 3, any value of n, the two density functions, the shifted version of the density function will be the same as the unshifted version. Consequently, it is also a strict and special wave process. So we prove the exception case. White sun stationarity means strict sun stationarity if the process is Gaussian. It doesn't have to be zero mean. Of course, the mean will be a constant, so mean gets subtracted uh, here also. <coughs> so the if the mean is not constant, this will be y minus mu t transpose r inverse instead of r it will be the covariance matrix which is autocorrelation matrix minus uh, uh, so this will be y minus mu so once again if the process is white sensation rate this goes away so there is no t and uh, this becomes uh, c is what c is uh, covariance matrix minus mu mu transpose so but this is a constant this is only a function of ta minus tj so the whole thing is that so this is uh, this will be c here c is the covariance matrix this is the uh, this is the autocorrelation matrix covariance matrix is obtained by r minus uh, variance is what expected value of x squared minus mu squared so in the matrix case it's the covariance matrix minus mu mu transpose mu is a constant so the shift invariance will be reflected even with the non-zero mean. So what is the bottom line? If the process is Gaussian, white sun stationarity means split sun stationarity. But split sun stationarity always gives you white sun stationarity. So you only if you say Gaussian process is stationary, you mean both. It doesn't matter. White sun stationary or split sun stationary. Any other process, you have to specify what is the stationarity you are. Thank you.